in this video i'll be showing you how to use try catch in microsoft power automate flow and try to capture the error for the exception which you receive within your power automate flow now to start with what i'm going to do i'll log into make.powerautomate.com and then from here i will start creating my flow now it's always a best practice to create the flow within a solution now I will navigate to the solution on the left hand side and from here i will i can either create a new solution or maybe work on an existing solution so i already have a solution created so here i'll click on new automation and here i will just demonstrate using the instant cloud flow so this one i will say trigger or maybe I'll just say try catch capture error and I'll select manually trigger a flow now the first step uh, what I'm gonna do is like I'm gonna add a compose action and I'll put some value in it click on save And once it is saved, I will just go back to the previous page and then I will reopen the flow again so that I get the new interface. So this is the flow which I have created, try catch capture error. And now I have got uh, the new authoring interface to author the flow. Now to start with, uh, let's build up some logic, you know, uh, now say let's assume there is some logic over here. So you compose has some logic within it. Now I will treat this as a try block. So let me put a scope control and then name the scope control as a try block. And I'll drag the action over here. Similarly, I will use uh, a scope action. And here I'm gonna copy this compose and I'll copy this compose. Now this one is a catch block. Now, how do we connect a try and catch? So what I want is like once my flow runs, I don't want, uh, I, I want basically to run this try block and that's it, this is my flow. It should not go into the catch block. It should only go into the catch block if there is an exception. So if there is, if an exception is found, then only it should go to the catch block. So in order to configure that, you click on the catch block, click on settings. And then from here, you just say, uh, the next action run after a try only if it has failed or maybe it is skipped or maybe it has timed out. So this is how you establish that connection. So as you see over here, there are three red dots, uh, red dots, orange dot and black dot. And that indicates that if the try fails then it will go into compose so this is like a business logic over here so you can put any logic over here uh, and then uh, the catch so this is like the catch logic and i'll click on publish and i'll run this flow just to show you how this flow runs so technically uh, only the logic will be triggered and Let me test it manually. So I'll just test flow manually. Click on test. I'll click on done. Now, what will happen is only the try block will get executed because there's no exception and that's why it will not go into the catch logic. So all good. Now, let me edit the flow again. And now let me demonstrate a failure. So let me use a dataverse connector. So there is a dataverse connector named as get row by ID. Okay, so I have this get row by ID, Microsoft dataverse. So I'm gonna pick any table from here. So let me pick up the custom table, airlines table. You can pick up any table, whatever you want. And in the row ID, I will not put an actual GUID, I'll put some garbage number, okay? And now it should technically fail, right? So I'm just demonstrating you how this entire thing will work okay so what will happen is once the flow runs it will first go into this action there is a failure it will not go in this logic and then it will directly pass the control to the catch scope so let me publish this
And now, as you see over here, the flow has run successfully. Now, as you see that there is an exception. So if I expand this, it shows that get a row by ID is has thrown an exception and it has not passed through the logic. It has directly went to the catch block. So if you see the catch block, yes, this action is executed and the flow has ran successfully. So we have successfully captured the exception. Now, what exception it has received? Okay, so if you want to see that, you just click on that action, get row by ID, and then here you will see the status code. There is a header, there is a body, and it says bad request, error in query syntax. So this is the error uh, I have received. So how do we capture this error? So if you want to capture this error, how do we do that? Okay, so we need to check that logic. Now, in order to do that, there are a lot of things we can do. So first thing is, I'll just copy this. I'll show you the content. So I'll just click on show raw output. Now, as you see over here, this is uh, the status code 400. There is a header and then there is a body, then there is an error and code and message, okay? Now, if you see the content, the content is like you need to parse through the output of this action, get a row by ID, and then you get into the body, error, code, and message, okay? And then this is the message we want to extract. So how do you do that? Let me edit the flow over here. And this time, what I'm going to do, I'm going to first add a compose action. So let me add a compose block. And this compose block will basically store the result. So I'll just type in result over here. Now, this result is basically the result of this entire try block. So this is the try block. So what I'm going to do, I'll just put an FX and I'll just say result of the try block. So this will store the result, the result information in the try block. Then we need to do a couple of other operations. So we have an operation called as filter array. So there is an operation called as filter array. So we are going to filter out the information, the whatever output we get from the result. So we are going to put that as a from. And then from here, I will select the output of the result. So output of the result comes over here, which is basically the I'm going to get the body. And then from here, I will just say if the status is equal to failed. OK, now. If I select this over here now. In order to get that value status, it is basically the item. OK, so the item status is equal to failed now. Let me save this value and here filter query is required. So FX so the status is basically the item status. Click on add and it is equal to what it is equal to failed. Okay. Now I'll just click on save draft. And now here uh, we are going to again add a an another operation which is select okay so select so we have taken the compose action then the filter and then the select so we have taken the result of the try in the result block and then we are filtering out and we are selling item of status is equal to failed and within the select block we need to get the output from this filter array right so just say from filter array and we're going to take the body and now we need to map it to some field so i'll just say this is like a custom error okay so i'll just say error and then this one is we need to iterate through that component now in order to iterate through that component we need to first understand what is that hierarchy and we have seen the output right so let me go back and show you the flow run, the previous flow run, which threw an exception and we'll try to pass that information. So this is the flow run four minute ago. Now it is showing test succeeded, but then, you know, we have catched the, we have caught the exception and that's why it's showing you that. Now, if you see the try block over here and you say, get a row by ID here, you're going to find the actual JSON. 
right so if you see the outputs and if you see the body over here so i'll just copy this information and i will use json grid desktop to put this information over here so it is like from the body you get an error code and message so the hierarchy is body error and message so if you go to your flow over here here in the select we'll say error but what are we gonna input over here so this is we are going to take from an item right so i'll just say item of what so we're going to put some thing over here which is basically the outputs body error message right so this is outputs body error message now these all things depend on how you get an output from the system back but uh, we can even reduce the hierarchy which i'm going to show you in a while so let me publish this information and once this is published let me run it again and show you the error what we get so i'll just test it test manually test run the flow now the flow has run successfully and as you see over here again this has failed now if you see the result the result is there is some information from the result so if you see the output which this result has given you so if i'll just show you the raw output this is how the output will look like so basically the output of the result is the item so which is the output of this and this one the outputs so from outputs we are extracting the body and then from body we are extracting error and then the message so outputs body error and message is the hierarchy and if you see how it has executed so let me close this and then show you the filter array so it has filtered out the information from here and in the select you will see error bad request error in query syntax so this is how you can extract the error value now you can also extract the code uh, now if you just select instead of error you will just put as code then you will even get the code value okay so this is how you basically use the try catch block try to catch the exception and then if you want to filter down or narrow down to the specific error you can do that so just to show you again we have used this result so result is basically we have used the result function of the try block so result function of the try block if you take the output so let me show you the raw output i'll just copy this raw output and then show you in the json grid desktop and now here it is showing me the name the start time the end time the tracking id and all this information and then from here you will see name start time end time tracking id get a row by id so as you see over here there is a client keyword then there is an error so error is part of this so we'll go inside the errors and then the error is action condition fail the execution of template action logic is skipped so this is one way of looking at the hierarchy so this is where we are going and then if you see the second item which is get a row by id this one failed and if you go into the client keywords over here you will see get a row by id and then you will see the output as status code as error right so let me clear this off let me paste it again and then put it over here and then this is how you can filter out the information now there are other things which you can filter out now i can use a filter over here i can select uh, the table in full i can flatten this information so i can see all this information i can just display whatever information i want so if you see this output so over here i'll go to output and then here you will see status code of header and body i will navigate to body and then from here i will navigate to error and then from here this is the extract uh, extraction which we are currently doing bad request error in query syntax right so this is how you build that uh, try catch block 
so that you can narrow down to the exact error. So that's it, folks. Thanks for watching.